Chris Dodd. Long, long time ago. <laughs> Do you know he came out with a new song? Chris Dodd. I did. did. I didn't really? like it. You didn't like it? No. Not like Man. his old stuff. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, old Chris Daughtry was just yeah. phenomenal. Chris Daughtry it? was the first album I ever bought. Wow. Yeah, the one with Home and yeah. it's Not Over it's You. Yeah. Um, it's just called I'm album. Coming Home. <laughs> Say that again, Noah. My mom was a big Chris Daughtry fan. Chris Daughtry was what I played for my first guitar recital. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what song? Home. I had of never, course. Of course. I had never heard it before because I was only allowed to listen to Christian music. <laughs> well, and then, and Christian Chris Dodd. I know. That's <laughs> why. Yeah. Okay. That's what my mom told me. <laughs> and then my guitar teacher was like, "Here's this," and I was like, "Oh my god, this is <laughs> like this is crazy!" Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was great. Between a, Amazing Grace and Home, I mean, man. I know. Man, what, what why did mean? why did Chris Daughtry have such an impact on us all? Because though, you know. because he's an amazing singer. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, he's yeah. dated, but he has more heart than that half is of the true. Jackasses and Coldplay do. Mm. Okay, back to the Coldplay. Okay, yeah, I'm still on the Coldplay thing. All right, oh, man. just let dude. You have to accept the fact that Coldplay is literally the biggest band in Ever. the entire world. Yeah, and Daughtry was at one point too. No, he was not. Not even close. <laughs> yes, he was. Home was like very big at one point. Where Where is he now? Making new music, is making he? us all happy. <laughs> okay. Holding up the entire American economy. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay. One, two, three. Hey, you know what the show's about. Welcome to Friends in Low Places, guys. <laughs> hey, the only thing I got to say is subscribe, like, and comment. Whatever you're on right now, whatever you're watching this. Um, quick shout out. I'm trying to make this short because mm. I've been uh, doing shout outs too long. Pandora. I posted this on Pandora and I, t I called John the other day. I said, John. We're blowing up on Pandora. Yes. I yeah. said, are you ready to quit your job? Yep. And John sure said, I People am. People are still on Pandora? <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, <A> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Pandora, for everything you've done for me. Let me just say, I'm going to give you stats real quick. Can't wait. One in one On a Thursday, we got 40 listens. That's a big deal. That, that's the last episode we did has 600 listens. That's, wow. I really think Pandora. that there were... John, though, I really think that they are like Russian bots or something. Yeah. I don't, I don't they're think that they're Russian real. Bots. I yeah. honestly, are you paying for Pandora I, listeners? <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, who am I paying at Pandora to have all like these people the only listen? People who listen to Pandora is my mom <laughs> yeah. and Russian spies, <laughs> and that's about it. I think that that's all who's listening right now. But hey, Pandora people, if you're real, please reach out. I think I, I can't yes. even remember my email. I think it's friends in low places one mm. at gmail dot com. <laughs> friends at hotmail dot com. Uh, <laughs> yeah, at hotmail dot com. But it's friends in low places with an e, low l o w e. Mm. All right, hey, we love you, Pandora. Uh -huh. All right, um, let's. Uh, oh, last thing. Remember on YouTube, if we get a hundred subscribers, I'm waxing my nipples. John is too. Yeah, I'll do for a hundred. A hundred subscribers. Hundred, yeah. We're twenty nipple, away. Mm. Hundred. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe some more body parts for the next milestone. Yeah, I, I think it'd be like five hundred or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's talk about who we got in the room here. Excuse me. We have me myself. The the original host, the actual host, the. Uh, the most important host, <laughs> Chase Low. And uh, who do we have to my side? We have uh, my co-host, my new co-host, who's I told Noah that he's on the, or I told both you guys that he's on. He's I can cut him anytime I want to. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> say goodbye to your 600 Pandora listens. All right. <laughs> mm. So you that's think you don't think that that? <laughs> I think it has everything to do with me. <laughs> 
and me talking about eating boogers and me losing a push-up contest. So you're really mm. going to, you know, I guess you're not wrong, though, because the yeah, last right, two episodes that you were on. Right? What was your okay. listener count before him? Yeah, but ahead, tell okay. Him. The the thing though is, I see what you're saying. But the thing was, John came on when Pandora took on the podcast. Mm. Okay, so so it's skewed. Okay. How can you how can you predict those numbers? Was it John or was it just Pandora? Would it have happened oh. without you, John? So. John, let's just say that it was because of you. Okay, it I'm gonna let I'm gonna you. let my ego go and say that it was yeah. because of you. Okay. Hey, listen, I think I'm a great guy. And I think I'm a cool guy and a funny guy. And if you disagree. Glad someone does. And if you disagree, both of you, then I'm not going to do anything about it. Hey, John. Hey, thanks for this. I didn't know where I was going with that. Thanks for the 600 views, though. It's all because of you, dude. All right. We got John uh, Goring right beside us, my co-host. And then we have Noah here. And Noah is... Th- does the magic behind the video work and he's sitting in and he has a mic right now and he's ready to i have a mic no. i don't have a there mic stand is. though i wasn't <laughs> I worth i feel splurging <laughs> on a mic stand. i feel so bad <laughs> but noah we love you okay thank you for being here thank you for I having just me met you noah, but i really like you thanks i'm wondering just can i throw out a question real please quick? yeah given uh what we've said about pandora thus far yeah uh, I'm wondering if there's any kind of Russian collusion going on over here. Mm. And yeah. maybe oh, that 100%. is how you yeah, got He threw that out views. really quickly, didn't he? No, you are on to something. <laughs> like you're, John. you are accusing me of colluding with Being Russia. a Russian spy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. I mean, I'm not a Russian spy, but I mean, I you're allowed to ask be. me. Yeah. Why not? They I hold don't more power see. than I do, so I'll team up with them. I think people are a little bit of cowards about the whole <laughs> Russian spy thing. <laughs> like, what are they going to do? Sell us cheaper sweaters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, <laughs> I'm in for it. Russia, if you want to uh, take over my life, please. <laughs> you can have my whole family. Everybody. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, there you go, Russia. Just hit them up. What's your uh, Instagram handle? Yeah, what's your handle? handle? Yeah. Instagram is John C. Gehring. All right. Dude, you have to update us if Russia actually does hit you up. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> a full Vlad Poot. Okay, <laughs> cool. And we have... Cody, who is our guest friend who is here, but I'm not introducing our guest yet, but thank you, Cody, for being here. We love you. And finally, give me one second. Everything's good. Everything's going. Good to go. So, Emily, imagine that this music is behind us, okay? Why am I nervous? Oh. Emily, please don't be nervous, even though that music is really intense. It's a lot. So the unfortunate part is I can't, I forget that I can't play that sound and read my notes at the same time. So I'm going to plug in the action music behind it, okay? Mm. So this is what is going to happen. So this is what's going to happen. Is this not the same uh, situation as before? The little. This is a situation that I don't even know if Noah can figure out. Mm, that's Do you want to send your notes to my phone and then just use my phone for notes? That actually that actually would work. So, yeah, he did figure it out in two seconds. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Noah. I don't, know if, I don't even think Noah can figure it out. <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> Immediately it without out. hesitation, is like, here's the solution. Here we go. Okay. Do you want to air it? Oh, yeah, 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 wow. yeah. I got you. Here we go. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, not that. (laughs) Here we go. This right here. My guest today is a bread baker and grill master. John, what'd you say? I didn't say anything. I thought I heard you. I thought I heard you laugh. I was literally just sitting here. (laughs) Dude, I I literally thought that I heard you laugh. Um... Nope, I didn't. Is uh, that is that funny to you though that she's a bread maker and a grill master? Not at all. I was literally just sitting here, like looking around. Oh, so because she's the first female guest that I have on the podcast, do you think it's funny that she's a good cook? No, I don't. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that smile's pretty good. Okay. Wide. My all right. Well, well, laugh it up, you misogynistic, <laughs> traditional, patriarch, uh, patriarchalist, stinky, stupid. 
pig, you. Get you know what? I'm one of the Lord's boys, and yeah, that's what I think. Go on. How do I know that she's a good, uh, uh, not only a good cook, but a good musician? John, she went to freaking Hillsong College in Australia. She learned from the Aussies. She learned how to grill on the Barbie. Bo Tricks. On the Bobby. Um, and play proper music. And you know what, John? She plays in a little church called Passion. <laughs> you like how it dropped right when I said that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's that. You, Emily, you've done more things. I forgot to ask you, though, about some of your successes. Yeah. Um, but there are more successes. We'll, we'll talk about them. There are a few more, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about them later, though. Sure, sure, sure. And I played with her a couple times, and she has beautiful feel on the bass. Okay, you get it now? Yeah. Okay. Um, Emily, please don't let this podcast be ruined by John's toxic masculinity. Um, <laughs> it, 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 I feel it right now, and I know you feel it, and I know Noah feels it. But we're just gonna ignore it. Totally. And it's Emily Perry. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Emily, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Um, so you told me that this is not your first podcast. Wow, you're hopping in quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's correct, yeah. There, there was another podcast before this. So you said it didn't go that well, though. No, it was it was bad. It was, so did they ask you like dumb questions? Um, did they you they know, they weren't good at conversation? They weren't as handsome as me and John are, or what? Min no, minus the last one, it was the other two things. Yeah. The last. So the handsomeness and then the no, not no, good at the the two before the handsomeness. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep, yep. So they're just as handsome. Um. Or like more or less. Like. Give me some details. You John, know. let's not make her rate our handsomeness. Uh, you know, that's fine. Yeah. Forget the handsome thing. Totally, so what totally. what sucked about the other podcast that you did? Well, I feel like awkward is just the word to describe okay. it. But but not like funny awkward. Just just awkward. Just mm, mm. dead. Yeah. So there was that. So like you feel like you would say something and then you would you'd have to end it with yeah. So and totally. then there would be silence for like five seconds. Right, 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 right. Yeah. It's like, so, uh, what, what's your favorite color? Oh, uh, like, that's awful. Mm, yeah. Well, John, do you think that we can do better than that? I think we can do better, but let me defend myself because you really <laughs> just, you really just went all in with my misogyny. I mean, I think Listen. even with that, though, we're, we're going to be at least 10 points higher than the previous. Okay. So yeah. that's good. But yeah. let me just uh, just set the record straight. John, go ahead. And let I me hear your defense. Defend yourself, sure. I'm trying yeah. to just stay out of the way, you know? Mm. And you cisgendered white men <laughs> always try to make it about yourself and how progressive you are. But listen, you can call me whatever you want. I don't care. I'm just here for progress. Podcast. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that last part? Yeah, what progress. was the last word that I you said? I said progress, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Hey John, well I need you. I need your help on this next part, okay? Okay. Um, Emily and Noah, you guys both went to Hillsong College, correct? We did. Um, Emily, what we're gonna play is the Hillsong song game. Oh. So what's gonna happen is John is gonna hum a Hillsong song, and then you have to guess what song it is. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, so um, John, let's pick what song you, you should hum. Okay. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> um, five. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> you don't remember yeah. that one. That All right, one I don't I'm know. One, two, two, one. You don't have to count it off. Just do it. <laughs> Cody, 
Cody has it. Mm-mm. Cody has it. Where Mm-mm. people pray. Uh, uh, awake my soul. Yeah. Honestly, I thought you were gonna go to like the chorus, but you started on like the, the part that nobody. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I, to my too. I would have gone for the mm. bowels of hell part personally, yeah. but I mean, it goes. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> Thank that's you, John. It. Yeah. Goal. I didn't. I didn't realize how bad you were gonna be at <laughs> Omega, though, which makes it a lot better. Well, they got it immediately, Chase. So why don't you try it next time? <laughs> Cody right? did. He's really Just good. Give me the next song. Honestly, okay. Cody raised his hand saying that he got it, it, and then I felt like I needed yeah. to get yeah. it, yeah. so I had to really hone in. <laughs> yeah. Do it at, yeah, well, anyway. no, we'll give you an easy one. <laughs> one way Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's what's <laughs> happening right here. I had no idea that you picked that. Every time you say this is so iconic. Oh, no one knows it apparently. They just redid it. We're on the bridge right now. I still don't know it. I still don't know it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How do you not know this? Uh, oh, Hosanna. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, okay, at first, when you were doing that, I heard my future decided. I don't know if you guys know that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then it was like wrong after like the first part yeah. of that. So then okay. I was so confused. This is maybe a little bit more of a deep dive. I'm it's ready for it. List. John, go ahead. You know it? I feel um, like I d- that I it's well, like uh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Got to be the solution. Yeah, that, yeah, that that was a banger. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> feel feel free to hop in if you know. Him. Okay. Remember um, when it hits oh, yeah. like the 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 climax of that song? Yeah. Mm-mm. Right. Oh. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got These it. all sound identical. <laughs> Oh, hold on. <laughs> I right. appreciate the enthusiasm you're doing this with. <laughs> Break free. <laughs> Break free? No. 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 no, no. <laughs> I can't do the. I can't. I don't know why I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Is written. No 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 no. no? no, no. Um, there's the verse. That one's tough. That All I need is you. Oh. All I wait. I don't even remember how it goes. Sorry. That no, that one was that one was a deep cut. Did y'all know that? All I need? Yeah, I mean, that one's like more like chill, though. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it's more chill. Like you had like a, like a. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it is. Dude, when I heard that song. That's like the the, the last. Jad Gillies. (laughs) That's his name, right? That is his name. name. You guys are the ones who went to Hillsong. You tell me. (laughs) Yep. Did you you ever meet him? Yep. Is he beautiful? (laughs) He looks very beautiful. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I guess. Noah? Agreed. You yes. think he's beautiful? He's a cool yeah. dude. Yeah. Ten cool out of guy. ten. He looks very attractive. Oh, okay. Let's he looks like he's a great dad. That's all I'm saying. I'm all sure right. he is. You look like it you're a great dad, John. I'm not. <laughs> Noah, what, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say that. You, you oh, really? Did you you got that? You from don't? That? Wait. No, I was gonna oh. say he looks like a dad. Like he would uh, be a good yeah, dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Wait, I was me like, or Jad? Because we're kind uh, of the same thing. <laughs> let's be honest here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, when I got here, I was surprised. I was like, oh, my God, how are you here, Jack? I honestly it's got you. confused. Yeah. I thought that I was in a completely different place. Yeah. <laughs> thought you were in Australia, eh? <laughs> Genuinely hope no one we went to college with sees this. 100%. Um, <laughs> John, let me hear that one more time. Oi, I'm Jed <laughs> from Australia, ain't he? I That's like the right. other guys okay. in here. Why song. do you you have a Cockney accent? <laughs> John, that was good. <laughs> hey, don't call me Cockney. <laughs> I'm Chad. I like Australian stuff like my kids. I'm a dad. Isn't it? Hey guys, so since no, since no. you guys lived in Australia, do will people be offended by what John just did? They won't care? So. No. The Australian people, people have been so oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, I can guarantee you, won't care at all about any of okay, this. Good, okay, good, 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 good. Um, um, well, they think that that was <laughs> the worst Australian accent they've ever heard in their life. They will. Without a doubt, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for well, sure. Jad, if you want to come fight yes. me, I'm here. Yeah, so, um, John. He's threatening Jad now. Um, what I'm going to do real quick. Hey, guys. So, uh, a quick reminder <laughs> for our <laughs> listeners that I'm in an apartment that I used to live in. <laughs> and uh, I don't currently live I don't currently live here um, but we're sneaking in because I stole a fob key and we can get in so, this so is there are there are a few special guests we are huh? literally breaking and entering and yeah we have special guests that we'll just walk through and then we just say hey how you doing and we just keep on going so there you go Hey, that's the Hillsong Song Game. Yeah. You guys did really good. Emily, you did great. Noah, you did. You kind of did. I feel a little better. Y'all both did really good, though. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, we both lost. 100%. I think everybody, I think everybody lost. On a, yeah. John definitely lost. I think the only winner in this scenario is Jad. Yeah. Jad well, definitely until, won. Yeah. Until he actually fights me, then he'll lose. <laughs> yeah, until Jad. I don't or, feel or, the same way at all. John. Wait, you don't think Jad? <laughs> I could not disagree Do you think more. I could beat Jad in a fight? No. I've How tall known is you for Jad? so Jad is a short large time, man. But is he tall? I wouldn't say he's necessarily tall, but he, he is a large he's man. Built. Okay, he's built. Okay, but, large but man. does he have the grit that John does? I have some grit. I think he does. Okay. They're both shaking their head at you, John, like, yeah, Jad would win. Well, Jad, there's only one way to figure it out. Buy your own ticket to Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia, <laughs> <laughs> and fight me. Come break into this apartment. That's with us. <laughs> right, right, right. Whoever wins gets the other one's kids. <laughs> wow. There we so go, So are you willing to, to give up your son, Noble, to... Here's the thing. I know I'm not going to lose, and this is going to be the fight everyone wants to see, like two mm. famous worship leaders fighting. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> so it's going to be good, but it's going to be fun, you know, whatever. But I'm going to destroy him. And I'm going to get his kids. So, dude, I've threatened a lot of people. On this no, podcast. and that's what I want to do every episode just to get yeah. like, just to get views to be like, John's fighting who? Also, yeah. I feel like you lose in that scenario, right? Like, because now you don't have one kid. Now you have like five kids. Well, uh, that's kind of true. If you're anti kid, are you? I, I'm not, but I feel like maybe your is your wallet five kid ready. What are you Dang. trying to say? I don't know. You think I don't I'm know. poor? I'm not saying that. I'm very rich. I make a lot of money, Noah. When well. you look at <laughs> when you look at John, you don't see a wealthy, wealthy man. Yeah, I'm so rich. Um, sorry. I'm not struggling to pay my mortgage every month. What are you <laughs> saying? Yeah, that's right. I have a mortgage. Wow, dude, that's impressive. Oh, wow. I'm intimidated. Uh, for Jad. Yeah. Hey, so, Emily, what was, so you did Hillsong College. Hey, we love you, Jad. <laughs> Sorry about that with John, but, I mean, uh, real quick, though, wouldn't it be cool, though, if you actually did fight him? I think that'd be and really you, cool. And you did, like, a Jake Paul type thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we fought. That would be awesome. Dude, I, th I, would, I would pay for that. For sure. And then I'll go on and challenge the rest of the Hillsong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Until I destroy every single one of them, <laughs> yeah. including the girls. And then you have, <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. There's, there, there's no gender that's gonna stop you. No, nothing's gonna stop me. I will destroy every single. And you're gonna person. own all their kids. Yep. And then I'm gonna hum all of their songs over them. Yeah. Wow. Out of out of curiosity, who would be your next target? My next target would be JD. I don't know. Mm. I feel like you might be looking at Owen too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, oh, loses, two wins. 
that's what I was thinking. That's too. right. Yeah. And so at Hillsong College, did you, when you show up, Noah told me that you show up and they're like, you're moving chairs. That's what you do at first. Mm. That is mostly for people who show up like, I'm here now, guys. It's all going to be all right. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to be on stage. Yeah. They're like, okay, you go sure, over sure, here. Sure. You stack uh, chairs right, right, forever. Right. They humble them real quick. Yeah. Real quick, yeah. yeah. you got to be careful much, how well, you show up. We might have to edit this part out. Okay. But, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> any person that says, I'm from in church, immediately a chair stacker. Really? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Knock them down. Yeah. yeah. Literally, like, that was always a joke for us. And, I mean, now one of my, like, closest friends is someone who does play there and really? was that guy. Uh, um, <laughs> But it was always the like, oh, wow, really? Of course you do. I'm sure that you do. And then you find out that they play in like, you know, the campus that's like, if here's like number one, they're in like number 99. Mm. But they have no problem name dropping mm. real quick. Do you think if, if <laughs> went to Hillsong? I think yeah. you'd be, do you think if and he was just like, hey, I'm, yeah, if I'm, if I'm, he like goes and goes like, hey, guys, I'm part of the college now. Like, <laughs> like I got ex- some experience <laughs> preaching. Like, wh- how do you want to utilize me? What do you think they would do? Walls team, baby. <laughs> yeah. Walls team. Yeah. yeah. To be fair. D- uh, yeah, well. I would love to watch <laughs> some gutters. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I can, yeah. He would that, look that's good That's a doing. different rabbit hole, similar to what we talked about yeah. uh, pre-podcast. Mm. Uh, but He would look good doing it, though. He would. It's, he's kind of a short guy, though, right? He's Jack, though. He yeah. is Jack. It doesn't I'll fight him, too. I mean, I, we'll save <laughs> yeah. it for another podcast. Yeah, yeah. I don't He'll be our next you know contestant. Next contestant. Yeah. That's right. I feel like <laughs> to me, you might also have to edit this out. I feel like he's the Vin Diesel of like preachers. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? To me, like definitely edit this out. His face just looks like remix, dude. I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, that was amazing. Yeah, that is so like, accurate. That's so accurate. That would make him cry if he heard that. And I love that. It made me cry. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's good. That's so been funny. in me for so long. <laughs> <It's been> so <laughs> I'm glad. glad that you got to finally <laughs> say that. You found the outlet to release that. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> the Harvey Weinstein of the preaching <laughs> Uh Carl Lentz. How about that? No. Yeah. Uh, laugh, no. Noah, laugh. I mean, laugh. you got him. I got him. I'm the so, first person who's ever gotten both of them. Carl Lentz and Harvey Weinstein. I'll edit this part out, but just just no, explain. Don't. I think it's no, funny. no, no. My part, my part. Just okay. explain to me the Carl Lentz thing. Did he he touch people? No, he was just uh, he was just having an affair. I think. He was, he just. Was a very very like deep affair. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. It was just with a single person, right? Gotcha. Yeah. It wasn't like he was. I think it was just one. But it, didn't it, it, it wasn't like he was leveraging his power, dude. We got like keep a real guy does. Don't do you love feet, don't you? I love feet. So <laughs> yeah. Big feet Me guy. Too guy. Big hey, foot guy. Hey, yeah. Hey, everybody, if you like feet and you like them clean, yep. go to Pro Health Nutri- Nutrition Inc. and uh, Incorporated and get your feet detoxed. They do that there. Mm. Did you know that they do that? I didn't know that. Yeah, they do. They don't just sell vitamins and herbs. They will detox your feet. Mm. That is like... They sell vitamins and herbs, and they also clean your feet. Yep. That's a full service. <laughs> that is, that's a full service. Hey, John, let's see what else they do. Suck on troll blood sugar A1C reducer? Suck on toes blood sugar? <laughs> that's all I heard. <laughs> Same. <laughs> They'll do it. Cool. Yeah. They'll suck on wow. uh, Premium. Th- and what that does, it, it, it helps support a healthy blood sugar balance, oh, and it's mm. all natural. And it's $5 off with the purchase of $20 or more. Wow. Hey guys, if that sounds good to you, uh, like him on Facebook, Pro Health Nutrition. I don't even know if they have a website. You might just have to physically go to the location to get it, <laughs> which <laughs> which is okay, <laughs> you know. Uh, Pro Health Nutrition Incorporated. We love you. Thank you, Fred, for sponsoring the show. Even though you're not paying me anything, it's just to make me look like I have a sponsor. So, so when you got the gig at Passion, did did things start to open up a little bit to where you're like, oh, I'm starting to network with people. I'm starting to meet this person, and they're starting to give me this thing. Uh, or or was it not connected to Passion, and it was just kind of your own doing? I mean, m- maybe yes and no at the same time. Like, 
getting to meet people like for me playing passion songs like in my youth group that was like a huge thing and that was you know this like wow passion's amazing and then even going to passion conference and seeing people like for me when I went to passion conference for the first time that was when I kind of had the like wow I think I want to like play music forever like that's like what I want to do is my thing and so getting to not just meet those people but build a relationship with those people and like actually know them personally like that part was amazing and so less like networking focus but more just like wow someone who I've looked up to for a long time and I thought was completely inaccessible is now like my friend or now is a mentor or now is a whatever that part was really cool and then in terms of other gigs opening up like meeting people like Cody or meeting people like our friend Colin and some other people we've been able to build something and do other things with other like local Atlanta people or whoever from those relationships that did happen at passion but weren't necessarily like a this is a passion sanctioned event you know what i mean Mm -hmm. it was just like you are sick at bass so let's play together you're great at guitar like let's do something and i think it's probably more of that than anything so was your big was your biggest connection like when you left and you went home and you're like thank god i met that person was it with me 100 percent. yeah yeah that's how i was with you you felt the same way i did i told you many times Okay, good. Thank you, John. Thank you, Emily, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Emily, our cover that we did, we just recorded it uh, about two hours ago in uh, my parking garage in the apartment that I don't live in anymore. Yep. And um, it was so hot. Yeah. I tried to wear a pink shirt at first. Yep. And I realized... uh, It wasn't going to work. You could see half my shirt was dark and the other half was not dark. Yep just the amount of sweat sweat. it was it was very hot john's my optic advisor and he told me to switch to black aesthetically you were not based (laughs) but you changed to black john keeps me based and Mm. you were based so you were the pog daddy hey you're based thank you john my optic advisor for keeping me based aesthetic athlete over here um so Give me one second, guys. I got a couple notes right here. I just want to. I don't know what Pog Daddy means, by the way. I was about to say quickly. I feel like that did take yeah. years off my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I heard uh, it. And once. you said you said Pog Daddy. Pog Daddy. Yeah. I don't know what it means. It might be an extremely sexual term. Very uh, offensive. This fly keeps flying on me. Yeah, it, dude. Tell. It's been John, like up in my freaking eyeball. It's visiting all, right. all of us, and I'm just like, I'm yeah, gonna kill just, it. I- I'm yeah. ignoring it and acting like it's all nothing. Right. I named this fly Jad, and I'm gonna go kill it. <laughs> <laughs> John, go kill it. All right, you give up? Okay, all right. Well, anyways, um, so this the, the cover that we did, mm-hmm. um, so when I first heard the song, I thought it was sick. Yeah. I found it on a Spotify playlist, mm-hmm. and I sent it to you. We both liked it. I actually tracked the song. And then I was like, I wonder what the lyrics are to this, mm, though. Yeah. And then I looked up the lyrics. You're and like, man. John, let me explain. What a the song. Li- let me explain the lyrics to you, okay? So, <laughs> the flies <laughs> <laughs> literally it's right just there. toying with you. Okay. It's not toying with me. It's I'm toying with it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Take control. Yeah. Well, That's right. John, we just, <laughs> but John, 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 we just did. <laughs> John, look. We just did the the fat guy shirt move yeah, at I've the same you. exact time. <laughs> we did it at the same exact time. I'll I I'll, you doing it I'll edit th- I'll edit it in and you'll yeah. see that we both at the at the is it, is yeah well right. same exact time pulling, we you're did pulling that. your shirt. Yeah, pulling so you we talked about it two rolls. podcasts ago. That's the ultimate fat I've guy. I've seen move. you do it like four times. Mm. And Noah, you agree? I've done it so many times. <laughs> Noah yeah, knows already in this podcast. Yeah. Okay, so, um, John, let me explain the lyrics to you. Okay, okay go ahead. So, uh, I forget her name. I think it's Jasmine Sullivan. Mm-hmm. I think that's right, yeah. Okay, so, mm-hmm. what, it's, I thought it was just a groovy song, yeah. okay? And I know that this is a clean podcast, but I'm going to go in, and I'm going to bleep some things out. Just keep that Can't in mind. Wait. Okay? So, uh, Jasmine, what she's doing is she's looking forward, or she has a sexual encounter with somebody, Okay. okay? Uh, with a with a male, 
Um, and she says that it's tragic. Essentially, the situation is tragic. Mm -hmm. Specifically, uh, the penis. Okay. But she uses the word, the D word. She does. Which is <laughs> And yep. I'll bleep that out. Okay. So what... And, and I might edit this out, okay? I might edit all of this out, but I'm just going to go for it. All right, so I'm going to edit that out because it didn't land at all. So I'll just edit that out. I thought, it, man, I thought I thought that was so good. Like, I was sending emails to Sean, and I was like... Okay, anyway. I, I know that you said that it didn't land. I personally thought it was hilarious. I thought it was good, though, I, right? I, but I didn't want to laugh. I know, but the uh, thing is, we just but, talked about, we just talked about, we just talked about Matt, Matt, Mar who did we talk about? All these churches, <laughs> we talked about these pastors, and I'm yeah. talking about taking really the out of songs. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't flow. That's my edit right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Hey, that's that cover feels good. Besides the uh, besides the lyrical situation <laughs> situation in it. Um, 100%. Hey, so we did that cover yeah. in the garage. We we're both sweating. Yep. It was very hot. Yep. We did it. Thank you for doing that. Yep. Um, let me see. That is really all I had in there was the thing. Mm. Um, <laughs> You're really married. To <laughs> the Super. Wow, wow, wow. I really was. Okay, so <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Uh, on the on the the part on your part, how was how did the tracking go on your base? Uh, like, was it was it fairly easy? Was it difficult? Was it what I did mean, you what did it, you use? It's basically the same thing for the whole song, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, minus the bridge, which is a little bit different. Yeah, I just played it like without the click, with just your drum track on there. Oh, okay. So you pl you put the drum track on there. Yeah. Wow. You know, mm. and then I just kind of was looking at, at logic and seeing yeah. when you were doing stuff to make sure that I was kind of yeah hitting a little bit more with wow that's however cool. we were doing it yeah because I told you I was like don't don't listen to my drums just do the track whatever. but I just did yeah yeah that's cool. that makes me feel good though well it made me feel a lot better honestly yeah because the first pass I was like yeah I mean that felt good mm -hmm. and then I did it again and I was like I don't know man like it's just not like sitting right then did it with just your drums and I was like all right now I feel good and then literally just did it in one thing and was like, that's it. And then just, it was done. Wow. Thank you, John. That's yeah, what I was looking right. for. So great job. Yeah. Well, so yeah, I was really the foundation for that. And then, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You can just yeah. hear his ego growing. <laughs> You're definitely not white with the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Bro. I think it's, it's honestly I, tough. That, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> that, that knuckle bump was I really was intense. I'm so that. sorry. <laughs> It's kind of tough, though, like when you're used to like in our context, like we were talking about earlier, like we're so um, what's the word ingrained on just playing right, right on, on that click, yeah. you know, that's and true. if you sway at all, that's no good. Yes. Yeah. So like being like, no, I'm going to play bad to play so right, yeah. you know, that's true, right? Want a whole lot of robots. Playing your song. No, no, I'm no robot. Literally, in like the first pass, I literally was like, I freaking sound like a robot. Like, yeah. this is horrible. Like, I yeah. don't like it at all. Yeah. yeah robots are no good. Uh, let me just put a message out there real quick for yeah, all the robots yeah. uh, in the future that are going to listen to this. We don't yeah, like you. I don't like you, and I don't think you're good, and I don't want to be overthrown by you. And if you do overthrow everything, then um, you can take me and my son. Man, you're really just giving up your son, like, <laughs> left and yeah. right. Well, you know. <laughs> you want to win big, you got to play big. So, yeah, you're uh, okay. <laughs> Robot or overlords, you can suck my <laughs> cog, which is a gear that yeah, yeah, yeah. to it. And, and so a so robot. That was yeah. the meaning yeah, of yeah, the yeah. pun. Right, right, right. A cog is a <laughs> part of a robot that goes into a robot. Yeah. So, you can suck my cog, so robots. So, what's a cog on a robot? Uh, it's just one of the gears that works with them. They'll think it's funny in the future. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just wait. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, um, I'll end it with this, Emily. I the track that you sent me was really good. It was amazing. It felt Thanks. really good. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that, but <laughs> what you but the few times that I have played with you though, I've been like, dang, Emily is actually a fire musician. So Thanks. you're very amazing. I'm very uh, honored to do a cover with you and have you on the podcast. So I'm super thankful for that. Yeah, man. 
uh, I think I wish that my stank face was as good as yours, which I know has come up on the pod- podcast yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I feel like I've been losing my juice in my stank face, like almost like when I, I think honestly, I think it's with doing these covers, Noah. Like I'm me and Noah, you're you're behind the camera, you're directing, but I feel like I'm also, I have a vision of what I want, right? Mm-hmm. So what I'm doing is it, what's taking away from my stank face. This is my point is that I'm thinking of how do I look right now? Mm. What, how does the shot look right now? Getting in your head about it. Yeah. See, but your stank face is like my favorite thing about you. That's very sweet. Thank you know, you. when you're playing yeah. and you're just, I mean, I, I don't even want to attempt anything, you know, but yeah. But, uh, but what I like about you though, is that the stank face Whatever face, there is no face. Hundred percent. That is your face. Dead inside. That's it's my just face. Dead. Yeah, just it is dead, dead inside. Yeah, and that is the coolest part about your face, though. You're just like, I'm just like, yeah, here I am. That is so cool, though. I think that's yeah. really cool. See, even when we were doing the cover, I even like made a comment to Noah. I was like, man, I feel like I should like, sh- should I like, no, should I like no. do a little lip action? Should I, you know, should I give it a little bit more? Should no, I? You got to stay true to you. Yeah, I, and I yeah. did. But the whole time, yeah, like how you were thinking about your face, yeah, in the you opposite direction. I was face. thinking about it in the other way. I was like, I know that's should the thing. I get a little more crazy with that's this? That's the and thing I, with I these covers, the covers and videos, though. I, this is something I've never done, so I feel like I'm like, how do I look? You know? No, you're you're into it, and that that's the best part. I don't know. Like I feel like a, I just got to do it. You know, you just got to be, and then it it's filmed exactly. Yeah. But I'm just like, I'm like almost trying to put it on. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And as a as my optic advisor, what do you recommend, John? Aesthetically, yeah. If you could sweat less, well, John, th- that's literally <laughs> can't be controlled. Physically impossible. Well, you know, look into it. Um, where there's I'll a get sur- a way. Honestly, I'll get surgery on my forehead to stop it from yeah, sweating. Do it. I think it would really help. I think people would be less disgusted with you. Um, other maybe than that, maybe. Hey, as my optic advisor, can you be? Can I? Can we have a meeting about you being like using words that are a little more like sensitive to me? Because mm. disgusting is that. That's a harsh ears. word. Classic cisgendered white male saying that. <laughs> but um, all I was saying was that sweaty, not good. Your face, great. I wow, you face. think so? I yeah. Think the stink face yeah. adds to it. I think you feel it. I've told you this okay. many times. When you play drums, people can feel it. Well, because wow. here, here's the best thing, right? Like, even when it's not like a cover, right? Because I mean, we've played together in, in another context, right? Yeah. Like, you still do the stank face. That's true, yeah. You know, like, beautiful name bridges coming up, and you're just still just yeah, going for it. Yeah. And you're like, you know, you look back, and you see that, and you're like, oh, yeah. Chase is feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's go. That's true. 100%. Like, if, if you were just straight-faced, and you're just like. And you're like, okay, great. Yeah, it gets it kind of gets boring. But yeah, you look back and you're like, man, Chase is in. I'm in. Yeah, you really that's, true. that's true. That's true. Does. That's an, I'm setting the vibe. That's what Do I'm doing. Do you think you'll ever work on getting your posture better, though? Uh, John, <laughs> okay, no, I'm not even saying no, that no, like, no, John, like an John, listen to this. I'm John, curious. listen to this. Okay, listen to this. I'm listening. Listen, Cody, real quick, are you are you okay? Do you need to go anywhere? or Anything? Okay, okay, perfect. I was just making sure that you were good. I saw that you were standing up, and I was like, "Cody's got to go." Cody's no, no, he's no, no. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I was just making sure. Mine? Wow. Oh no. Oh no. Like, is it dead, dead? Okay, uh, let's touch on this real quick. Great. Um, thank you, John, for bringing that up. Yes. I had the thought when me and Noah have been doing these new covers, they look s- they look so good to mm-hmm. me. They look like the best we've ever done. Sure. And I'm like. How much better would it be if I was just freaking hot? If I was just a hot guy, <laughs> it would be so much better. People would tune into that, dude. Yeah. Like, if I had a hot bod. Like if you're a different person, or if like you. Were no, like okay. Hot. Let's just say same guy, but I just did. I treated my body a little bit better, you know. A little bit. Uh, but, so that's what I'm saying. Posture, mm-hmm. diet, working out a little bit better. Okay, but here, here's the thing, though. You're still going to wear the same clothes, so yeah. it really doesn't matter. Yeah, but I, I think the posture is something I can work on pretty po- easily. Posture for sure. A- as someone who also has horrible posture, posture for sure. that's a, yeah, for sure. 
John, the way that you said that though made me upset though. Well, like posture for sure. Yeah. Why did it make you upset? Because uh, it's rude. Is it like rude? it just be nice with it. Just say you okay. know you can work on your okay. posture. Case, um, I was thinking. Yeah. And I was thinking yeah, John? that you look ridiculous when you play drums, and you could work on that a little bit. That's not any better. Okay, let me try again. Hey Chase. Yeah. Um, you should work on your posture. Is that mm. better? It was too, it was too much. I was trying to think of like a nice way, but I couldn't. Just that was like a little too sweet, maybe. Yeah. No, right. it, just work on it and then just come back to me and just tell, just send me a text, whatever. Okay. I'll send you a text about yeah. your posture? Yeah. Just be it's like, hey, oh, th- here's, I'll coach you right here. Hey, I noticed um, like when I was watching the video, it just seemed like you were a little like maybe slunched and it maybe didn't look like the. A little hunchback of yeah, Notre little, Dame, you know? <laughs> that's too much. Oh. Maybe a little, maybe a little hunchback. Just, I think it maybe it would look better if you just straightened up I a little feel bit. Like mm. that's worse though when people say it like that. Really? Yeah. Where it's just like. It's like, hey, yeah, I've I been th- thinking. Yeah, um, insert exactly. super specific issue yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Listen, all right. We all know you're a great drummer. Hey, just thanks. Stand up, sit up like a normal person. You know. That's rude, Emily. What's more, ex- what's more disgusting? Uh, we have a debate going on mm. right now. John eating his boogers or me chewing on my toenails. Wow. Um, and and I'll say that I chewed on a toenail last night. Did you really? hundred percent I did. I picked a toenail and I put it in my mouth and I was chewing on it and I was like, oh my, I didn't even know I was. And I was like, oh my God, I'm doing what, it right what, now. What do you mean you didn't know? <laughs> it's, it's literally such so, a so habitual thing. That's right. That's what you remember. You still so you're telling me yeah. that you, you take... Some toenail clippers. Yeah. You clip your toenail into your hand, I'm presuming. I mean, it goes wherever it goes. And then you find that in wherever it goes (laughs) and then put that in your mouth. Is that true? Or do you bite it off your toes yourself? So last night, I'll say that I I peeled it. Like I kind of, like they're long enough to where I kind of just just like. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. So okay, but doing? let's talk about the booger thing because you went into depth on the toenail thing. But yeah, yeah, and I you get pick, it. You, you pick you a nostril, right, 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 and you get a nasty bug, and you put it. And John and puts it, it in his mouth, yeah. right, and right, eats right. it. Um, I I feel like as someone who habitually bites their nails, yeah, I do have a. It's it's tough to. It feels a little hypocritical, right? To be like, oh, you're biting your nails on your feet. Um, I'm not biting my toenails, okay? Right, right. right. Um, unfortunately, though, I, I do think that's probably the nastier of the two would be the toenail. The toenails? B- because of the whole scenario <laughs> that, that was just laid out. This whole, like, you clip it, and it flies into wherever it goes, and then oh. you hunt it down, yeah. you pick it up, yeah. and then you're like, I'm putting this in my mouth. What I are you doing so. with it in your mouth? You just chew on it. Like yeah, like, like, do you do, like and then, it, and like then like, you spit it out, or like you swallow you're it? You're just like... like <laughs> you just <laughs> and then get rid of Are you it, like, like making it go through your teeth and like. <laughs> no, I hate that. I hate anything in between my teeth. I don't know. That's I, crazy. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I feel like so, somehow the clean. booger just feels cleaner, and I'm not sure what that is. Hey. Um. All right, Emily. Thank you for your input. That was good. No, what do you think? Which one is closer? I don't know. I'm. S- <laughs> I can't process this information. Okay. I Cody. don't know how to respond to you. Uh, yeah, I would yeah. like to say that they're yeah, both Cody. disgusting. I would like course, to say I've Cody, known you for Cody, such a short time, yeah. but I do find myself worrying for your son, just what? given everything we've talked <laughs> okay, about. Okay, don't bring my son <laughs> into it, man. What do you mean? You've given him away twice yeah, in the last 30 minutes. Taken but it was over every my opportunity fighting. to get rid of him. Okay, I don't want to get rid of my son. I want to make that publicly clear, but I will. But you want to take a son from someone else. That's what you oh, want to do. Oh, of course. Who doesn't? Okay. Yeah, that's understandable. Everyone else. Cody, Everyone what else do you think? It. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cody's wow, a really? Chewer. Recovering. You think you know someone. Okay. So even when you clip it, you won't put it in your mouth, though. Okay. So That's fine. Yeah, me either. So to you, it's not gross, someone clipping and eating their toes. Okay, so, so, so Cody is 100% so against one the So one for Cody... Cody. One uh, uh, one for Cody with the toenails. Emily's on with boogers. Noah's right down the middle. I he, feel like he doesn't know how to I, take it. I was 
the toenails were more disconcerting because I've never heard of that in my life. I've never heard of okay. that ever. But it just okay. But I feel like as a serial finger biter, a- at least it's happening in the moment. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm, I'm biting my fingernail and it's it's in real time. There's something about the fact that I've clipped a toenail. And then I have more intentional premeditation. Right. Like, like, you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? This is like a mindless activity. Like, I'm I'm not really thinking about it. I'm like, oh, oh, no, I'm biting my fingernails. Let me stop. Yeah. But like when you pick up a toenail and put that in in between your teeth, there was a moment where you could have made a choice. I'm not putting it. I I guess I am putting it in between two sets of teeth, but I'm not like flossing (laughs) with it. That's what (laughs) that's my point. Yeah. You're not not using it as like a utility. I feel like I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. ahead. Interrupted you. Um, I feel like the only reason I can somewhat justify the toenail is because I can choose to believe that he was a fingernail biter and yeah. it just got out of control. So yeah. you're, you know so I mean? you're team toenail. I feel like I have to be. What? Gosh, I'm on, sorry. I, no. I well, listen, we got, we I got two team toenail and we got one okay. team booger. But yeah, to John, make, to make a, you're, you're, you're done, dude. To, no, you're to done. make a case. You're done. Emily has a very good point about. <laughs> hey, about real quick, John. <laughs> this is the last thing we're talking about because we got to wrap okay, this bit up. I understand up. that, but the last part of that is yeah. That chewing your toenail is so premeditated and so like understood. That's what I'm going for. Picking your nose and eating it is habitual, and it is so just natural. However, however, it's it's gross, of course. But, you know, I will always spit it out if I realize what I'm doing. But it's habitual. I go, t- What's up? Yeah. This Cody, morning, Cody, this morning been, for sure. Cody just said, when's the last time you've done this? Yes. Um, it's been a long time. It really was not. It hasn't. It's been over a couple months. Probably since the last time we talked about it. Cause I thought also, I feel like if we're, if we're thinking, like, what happens more naturally, like y- you were saying habitually, right? Kids kind of pick their nose and eat it, right? Do. You know what they it's don't do? Natural. Hunch it's their like back over and bite their toenails. Wow! <laughs> like a monkey. Back <laughs> Emily, the, the fact that you just brought oh my, my posture into me biting my toenails really offended me. <laughs> and it that. honestly changed, it changed the whole dynamic of this podcast that just happened. Last five minutes are just <laughs> done. I'm done, honestly. I'm done with this. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, I'm just kidding, you. Emily. You thank you for bad. being here. Yeah, hey, yeah. let's do some questions from Instagram. Um, <laughs> at Colin Rucker said, why is Emily so good? Honestly, that's a boat. Like uh, when people do questions like that, mm. come up with a unique mm-hmm. question. Yeah. What is she mm-hmm. going to say? Because uh, I practice. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I will say to Colin, I'm our Rucker's credit. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I did kind of trash Colin's question. No, 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 no. no. Colin, we love you. Horrible question. <laughs> Horrible question. <laughs> Uh, but I will say <laughs> Colin R. Rucker is uh, maybe 10 times better than me as a bass player. Oh, well, so, that's a very sweet um, compliment then. Yeah. 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 Okay, love Colin. Colin, we love you. Thank you. JD underscore Myers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know who that is. How is Emily so cool? Another boring question. <sighs> yeah, that, that one's tough. Um, How are you so cool? Just Yeah, trying to answer that. Yeah. Okay, at Andrews underscore GTO. Mm-hmm. Who you worked at Guitar Center with? Which I wanted to ask you some questions about yeah. Guitar Center, but okay. I mean, I was all I was going to ask you is who comes to Guitar Center? Is it like dads is it, in their fifties? F- yeah, and yeah. is it like weenies who's like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm ready to. It, it's people who think play. that they're like super super talented, yeah. and then they just like spend three thousand dollars on a Les Paul they can't play. That's Guitar Center. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm glad we touched on that. Um, three act. Uh, underscore Chapman, Zach Chapman. I love you, dude. If you were to describe yourself in, in three words, what would it, what would they be? The worst question ever. Oh. Zach, I love you, but you know, that's the worst question mm. ever. You have not liked a single question. Mm. I, yeah, g- come up we, we, with some good questions. Uh, Chloe underscore Benoe. I'm sorry. I didn't even give you a chance. Don't even answer that okay. three question thing. <laughs> I mean, I, okay. At Chloe underscore Benoe, best advice for someone new to ice fishing. Unique. It's it's a little too odd. It is. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess have a have a warm hut. I, I'm not really sure. I don't. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Emily. Uh, Amanda Dalesworth at Amanda's Dalesworth. Um, she is. Do you know Amanda? 
is it Amanda D. Ellsworth, we think? It has to be because I'll say that you have to know her. And if you don't know her, she is a literal stalker because she put 12 questions in here. You guys are making Amanda sound like a real piece yeah, of man, I, <laughs> If it is Amanda D. Ellsworth, um, which she's married now, so I feel like she probably should. It's got to be D. Ellsworth. Uh, she was one of my roommates actually okay it uh, has to be her so maybe it's her i'm gonna rattle off the best 12 questions i can real okay quick. great um one of the most embarrassing things you've done slash experienced on stage oh experience on stage okay um uh, take off take off off stage if something came to your mind Just okay the most embarrass embarrassing thing i've ever done is pee myself in public how old were you probably 20 Ooh, there's a whole there's a whole old, thing there's a whole old. thing that's a little too old we used to play this game condensed version you used to play this game called prove it if you said something you had to do it if someone said prove it right so i said that i would get a tattoo someone said prove it i didn't have my id on me so i couldn't get the tattoo and unfortunately the punishment if you can't prove it is that you have to pee yourself in a public place so i had to pee myself in public i was in the middle of nowhere pennsylvania Peed myself Three in public minutes. and then got the tattoo the next day. It's what's, a funny story. What's, what's public? Where were you at? Uh, I was in like State College, Pennsylvania. It was literally in someone's front yard that I don't know. Mm. So, yeah. That's rough. How did that feel? That kind of felt good. It was pretty wild. To purposely pee your pants. Yeah, it, it felt very wrong, especially in a stranger's front yeah. yard, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's odd. Not, not good. Um, um, and then I still got the tattoo, so it was kind of like, did yeah. I lose both times? I think I did. Yeah, I think if John would have done that in somebody's front yard and probably would have called I, the cops. I think you'd yeah. have been arrested immediately. Hundred percent. Yes. Huh? I've peed my pants many a time. Have mm. you really? No, just once. Okay. Well, let's talk about it on the next podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Um, what is the next pedal you want? Yada. yada nobody care. I mean, <laughs> people care, but you know. Uh, how many cars, guitars do you have? Nobody cares. Who is your guitar inspo? Nobody cares. How old was the oldest guitar student you've ever taught? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, guitar student? How old? Like 55. Okay, I, had a, I had a piano student, though, who was like a solid 85. That's pretty old. Yeah, she was um, super old. Let's see. Did Does your hope... Like oh, sorry, John. Go ahead. she want to play like Saints Come Marching In or something? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it came up. It did. <laughs> it did. Cool. Yeah. Oh my uh, God. No, but yeah, she was cool. Uh, can you rap spontaneously right now? I really don't think that boots. I can. Boots. That was great. Um, and Emily, we got to get you out of here. Is there? Do you have any advice for an up and coming bassist, musician, somebody eager and willing to uh, give their talents to uh, whoever that might be? Um, just play with people who are better than you. I think mm. that's the... That's actually really good that's advice. That's the best way to get better is play with people who don't suck. That's that's very good advice. Emily, thank you so much for being on here. Yeah. John, Thanks do you have any me. last words? Um, uh, no. Okay. Well, Great. Um, we will stick to the fact that John will fight any and everybody yes. from Hillsong United. Yep. Um, I'll fight anybody... I'll fight anyone who challenges me, even if I lose, which, let's be honest, will be most times. John, don't say that, though. Listen, you all have those to go song sissies, those yeah. guys, they can all, you know, suck a big one. Yeah. Like, and big wait, one, wait, you wait, mean wait. Cog. Huh? You mean Cog. Yes. The robot. All those Hillsong robot yeah. sheep, but, they can suck But not what we took out of the song. <laughs> Just exactly. a Cog. Listen, Jad, I love you, man. And Mark McGrath. I'm not sorry about and that. Toby Keith, and Toby Keith, though. And did I threaten Toby Keith? You definitely did. The whole next, the whole first episode is about Toby Keith. That's right. Or I put him in the the. You know what, Toby? Thumbnail. I'm not sorry. Yeah, Toby. Mm. I I mean everything I said, Mark. We'll talk. Wait, th these noises are crazy. Did anyone right else hear a baby? Yeah. I did. Emily, thank you for being on. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for having me. We're good. Let's see you guys. Bye. I think it was pretty good. I'm all for everyone seeing me as misogynist. So I had that idea today. I uh, I was driving in the car and I was like, yeah. make John the misogynist in this intro. Yeah. That's my angle.
and right. I wrote down the whole thing. And it was I've heard misogyny plays well on Pandora. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all these Russians yeah. love it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. Good. Yeah, Make her feel like it. a <laughs> object. Yeah, yeah. I know, Dude, they're pretty good. Huh? Your Unreal. accents are on. It's like they're all Unreal. the same. <laughs> but like in a good way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to do a good Francis so Chan impersonation. Exactly Who? Francis Chan. I used to do a really good impersonation. Uh, is that Asian? Yeah, it's racist. No, so I, I don't I don't know. We should do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>